For more North Idaho Newsroom tonight, three Post Falls schools were on brief lockdown as law enforcement chased a man through Kootenai County driving a stolen SUV. That pursuit started in Hayden, it ended in Post Falls. And one neighbor who knew something was wrong, not because of the sirens, but because of an app on his iPod touch. KXY4's Anusha Roy has the story from our North Idaho Newsroom. Normally a quiet neighborhood, Lucas Street saw quite a bit of activity this morning. Sirens up and down the street, there was squealing tires. Law enforcement was chasing a man in a stolen white SUV. Alexander Bonds knew something was up because he heard it all. Well, I just got a new uh, app on my iPod Touch and I started listening in on the police scanner and they were talking about uh, someone uh, driving recklessly. The chase started on Hayden Avenue when an off-duty deputy noticed a suspicious car. The SUV was stolen from a Spokane car lot. The vehicle wouldn't stop and uh, pursuit ran all through the prairie out there. As Bonds listened in, the street names started getting a little too close to home. Kind of coincidence, you know, I was just listening for two minutes and all of a sudden something on my street and then they started talking about Lucas Street. Lucas Street is where Bonds lives and where this SUV was dumped. Looking out the windows actually and about 12 rigs on this side of the street. The suspect fled on foot cutting through a nearby park. Three schools were on lockdown. The longest time was at Post Falls Middle School for around an hour. It was reported from next door that he jumped the fence here because we've got it locked and then uh, ran through the fence on the other end, it's just, which is not locked, but uh, and then on through the park. The only description is that the suspect was wearing jeans and a brown hoodie. By the time the chase was called off at around 1130 this morning, the suspect was still nowhere to be found. In Post Falls, Anusha Roy, KXLY4 HD News.